Welcome to Daisy's Divas. Hi, I'm your host, Daisy. Today, we have a well-known dancer. She's truly out there making a difference. She is huge in the art industry and music, and she has just been newly appointed to the Chelmsford Center for the Arts as our newly executive director. So please welcome this true diva out there making a difference, Lexi Lattimore. Thank you, Daisy. Hi, Lexi. Thank you. You Hi. look absolutely diva -ish. Thank you. Gorgeous. Nice. to fit the occasion. My favorite color, and I love the beads, everything. Thank you. Yeah, Thank we'll you. Have I to love use, these shoes. Yeah, we'll have yeah. to put the shoes with that outfit. Please. Perfect. <laughs> so, Lexi, welcome, and I'm so excited that you are the new um, executive director. I know you've been, it's a whirlwind for you, and you've yeah. done tremendous so far, but uh, let's not keep you all day because I know you've got to go back to work. So let's start, um, talk a little bit about yourself and where you're from and a little bit about your background. Sure. Yeah, okay. thank you. So I'm, I'm from Chelmsford. I grew up here. I went to Byam and Same then, as myself. Did you? Yes, yes. I oh loved Byam. Oh my gosh, me yes. too. Shout out to Byam. I know, big oh, shout out. Yeah. Yeah. So I went to Byam and then to the um, charter school for two years mm -hmm. and then went to Parker mm -hmm. uh, and then graduated from Chelmsford High School in 2010. Wow. So you're just a little young girl here. Yeah. Wow, I was class of 81. I love it. Uh -huh. I love it. And we have to it. give a big shout out to your mom. Yes. Yep. Sharice is an amazing woman. She is. Yes, she is. She is. So after high school, did you go on to school? I did. Okay. I did. I went to Duke University down in North Carolina. Wow. That's a great school. Thank you. Yeah, it is. And I loved it. Mm -hmm. I loved Duke. And I got to really explore and figure out what things I was interested in, mm -hmm. what I liked. Yeah. I started dancing again and, and started to explore dance in a new way. Did you dance as a young girl? Is that the first time you danced? I So, I, yeah, I, I started training in classical ballet when I was eight. Wow. Here in Chelmsford at the Academy of Ballet Arts mm -hmm. with Judith Kukoven, okay. who trained me. Wow. And Miss Judy still teaches in the area. Mm -hmm. um, the Academy of Ballet Arts is, is no longer, but that training was fundamental. It Without it, I would have never been able to go on to have a professional career. Mm -hmm. So when I stepped away from classical ballet in high school, um, I never thought I'd do it again, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. But in going to Duke, they had a, a strong dance program. And, you know, dance never leaves you. Yeah. No matter how hard you try. This is why it you never have this you. superb <laughs> figure. Yeah, of course, we can tell you. I have to pick up dance. I'll have to pick up ballet never tomorrow. Never too late. By tomorrow. It's never too late. So why yep. did you not, why were you all done with dance? Like, when you graduated, you didn't want to pursue it. But then when college hit, was it the same type of classical, like ballet and... It was ballet. So, you know, I think growing up in such a professional, mm -hmm. pre-professional program. Get burnt out? Well, I figured if, if you know, I stopped at 14, that's around the time mm -hmm. that ballet dancers are getting recruited. Mm -hmm. So I never thought I, I was like, well, you quit, you know, you stopped. Mm -hmm. um, there were just a lot of big life circumstances that happened, mm -hmm. both for my family and with the studio transitioning over. Mm -hmm. So I just said, you know what, I, I've always had a balance between mm -hmm. school and academics and thinking and creating things and performance. Mm -hmm. I didn't know then how to how to balance that out or how mm -hmm. to juggle it. So I said, okay, I'm gonna really throw myself into school. I got involved with theater. Mm -hmm. That's when I was under Lauren Cochran mm -hmm. in the theater department, um, performed in musicals and I was su I was involved you in everything. The whole gamut. The whole gamut. I played volleyball. I was a volleyball captain. So like, I really just started to expand. Well-rounded. Very much so. Yeah, I think so. And how so. important was that, Lexi, to be well-rounded in school? So important. Yeah. And I think now where my career is... Um, it helped you. It has helped tremendously. Mm -hmm. You know, I look back on like, how, how did all of those things relate together? You know, what does volleyball have to do with, mm -hmm. you know, playing in Les Mis, mm -hmm. the musical, or being a part of student council, but it's it's all skill based, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's leadership, it's teamwork, it's mm -hmm. figuring out how to connect with other people, how to work together, how to lead a team. Which is important. Huge. Mm -hmm. Invaluable skills. Valuable. And I think that CHS does a great job of providing students many different options mm -hmm. for them to really figure out what are some things that I like? Mm -hmm. What don't I like? It's a good starter ground. Mm -hmm. So I had a really great base by the time I went to Duke. Yes, you like, did. I really, really did. 
I really for you. Do. So are you, do you do, um, before we get to the CCA, the Chelsea Center for the Arts, yeah. do you still, you still do dance? I still do, yeah. So my, my dance journey has been atypical, but I have danced professionally. So after, mm -hmm. I, I, was, I was dancing a lot in college, and um, still ballet or different other types. I was of doing ballet, but I'm a mover. I loved yeah. doing going from ballet to jazz to West African. Mm -hmm. I, like anything you teach, I'm like, okay, I want to learn that. Let right. me try it. Yep. Um, and by the end, I was really combining my history studies. I was a history major mm -hmm. with my passion for dance. So I saw all of these. I was studying civil rights history across the world, mm -hmm. and I my thesis. Interesting. Yeah, my thesis was really in local history because North Carolina has a fascinating mm -hmm. um, civil rights history. Mm -hmm. And so I was starting to bring those stories to life mm -hmm. through dance and through theater mm -hmm. and worked in a community center um, in wow. a historically black neighborhood, historically segregated neighborhood, mm -hmm. um, and worked with the community to tell their story through dance and through movement and poetry. And it really meant a lot to mm -hmm. them, I mm -hmm. think, and, and meant a lot to me. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was really the beginning of me starting to combine this kind of community activism and engagement with movement and performance mm -hmm. um, and with really healing work. You know, mm -hmm. us being able to tell our story mm -hmm. is a huge part of how we process information and how we can heal and grow. Mm -hmm. How smart were you to combine all that, but to use that knowledge, <laughs> right? A lot of people yeah. don't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you had this process through the years. I had the process, yeah. And I, you know, graduated, came back, worked in Boston in community health care, mm -hmm. and then decided, you know what, I, I, I love doing what I, I want right. to dance. I, you know, you only get this little window. It feels like mm -hmm. it's never too late, but you know, it felt like when can I just up and move to New York and pursue mm -hmm. a professional career? Mm -hmm. So I did. I moved to New York and. I was auditioning and training like crazy, landed a job out in Cleveland with mm -hmm. a contemporary ballet company. Wow. And that's really where... That's excellent. Yeah, it was fantastic. Wonderful company. Great experience. Mm -hmm. We toured to Cuba. I did a two-week tour there. We danced with Cuban Fabulous. dancers. Mm -hmm. um, I did not want to leave. It was, it was amazing. I should blame you. I wouldn't have left either. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I've gotten to do... You know the professional grind of mm -hmm. you know people ask what does that mean I'm like well I'm I'm paid to go to work in the studio from mm -hmm. nine to five that's mm -hmm. that's what I did and you enjoyed it I loved it so now I fast forward yeah. you had a great opportunity I did you applied for the job that was open Susan Gates was the our uh, former yep. executive director yep yep okay yep. so what brought you is that what brought you up here from New York like. From, okay, so. Uh, kind of. So I, I was between New York and Cleveland, and mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to be closer to family. Mm -hmm. I think the pandemic has taught us so much. Mm -hmm. What Most do definitely. we value? What are we really passionate about? So true. Right? And so it just, it really re made me rethink, how am I performing? For, for how am yeah. I connecting with my community? How am I giving back? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I was home and just kind of figuring out what do I want to do next and when I heard that Susan was retiring you know, I was both like wow what's what's gonna happen with this place she's given so much mm -hmm. um, dedicated dedicated so much mm -hmm. to the yes, CCA she did. to the community mm -hmm. um, and has worked very very hard to keep it afloat through a pandemic, through through everything, mm -hmm. you know, for years. Yes. And so yes, she did keep it afloat during the pandemic. She really did. She yes. really did. And so I'm very grateful to her and, and the legacy that she's that she's leaving for us. And mm -hmm. um, when I heard that that the job was was open and posted, I said, Hmm, I've always really loved this place, and mm -hmm. I think this could be an interesting opportunity. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. And what a whirlwind. And I had to say, I'm on the board. I'm a, one of the founding yeah. members that is appointed by the town. And you have done right. You're like off the start. You've done <laughs> tremendous, Lexi. So you should be very proud Thank of you. yourself. Um, let's talk about now. You've been busy. Pete's going to show a few pictures from the Chelsea Center for the Arts. OK. All right, awesome. Pete. So Lexi can explain a few of the events that you've been involved. You've only started really June, correct? Okay. Yeah, end of June. End so of like, June. Yep. Beginning. So really July. July. <laughs> so this is a great picture. What is this, Lex? Uh, so this is from our open house 
We had an open house on October 1st. Mm -hmm. That was a great day. It was amazing. Packed. You had over, what, 500 people there? It was, yeah, just about 500 folks came through. Um, these little ones were fabulous. We, we made an impromptu dance on the stage. Nice. And you can see in the back the quality of life slide there. Mm -hmm. You know, we've really been reforming our, our mission and getting very clear. What are mm -hmm. we trying to do? Mm -hmm. We are trying to increase the quality of life for Merrimack Valley residents and visitors using the arts. Mm -hmm. And you can see here that's exactly what we're, mm -hmm. what we're aiming to do. Yes, great. And now you just recently had a, it was sold out, um, Murder Mystery Night. We that was new. Murder Mystery. Here we go, right here. Okay, oh, you had food too? Oh, yeah, yeah, we oh. served soul food from Red's Kitchen and Catering. Oh, nice. Yep, out of Utah. Um, Chambra is amazing. The food was delightful. People loved it. Mm -hmm. um, there was just such a diversity of, of crowd, both in, um, you know, in, yeah. yeah, yeah, in younger folks, older folks, mm -hmm. groups of friends, people who were on a date together, colleagues. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Um, yeah, you did well there. Yeah, we really did. We sold it out. So we sold we sold out the entire event. It was packed. Yeah. It was packed. So we're just starting to prepare for that type of audience, mm -hmm. and yeah. um, people had a really good time. So what else do we have now coming up for the holidays? I know that you have a ton. You had a Halloween. We have a ton. Do we have so we have a bunch of stuff coming up for November. Okay. Um, we have a. Film screening happening mm -hmm. on Friday, November 18th. Okay, and at what's 7 that? 7 p.m. Um, it's called We Still Live Here. Mm -hmm. It's in partnership with the Chelmsford Public Library, wow. who has been so good to us. Mm -hmm. And it's a film about indigenous rights, so mm -hmm. really learning about um, Native American folks and, and yeah. some of the, the struggles that, mm -hmm. that are continued to be faced in the history. So we're excited about that. And then right after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. we have a big show coming up. Can't believe it's Thanksgiving already. I know. The year's almost over. It's wild. What was the show coming up? I can't remember. It's called that. the Alumni Talent Show. Oh, okay, here Magic we are. Magic Music. Oh, nice. Oh, I like your picture there. Yes, I. so my picture is here because I am performing. Okay, you're dancing, correct? I am dancing. And what are I you, am dancing. is it a One surprise or what are you gonna dance? What I am gonna keep it a surprise. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm doing an original piece. Nice. Um, so we'll be there at the CCA Saturday, November 26th at 7 p.m. Okay. Um, and get your tickets soon. And I like the early dates now, too. I like the early dates. Yep. You know, sometimes people want to, you know, get a little bite to eat and go out early now that it gets dark because we're turning the clocks back already. That's so. right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the early. And then after that, the holiday is booked. Yep. So we've yeah. got on December 4th, we're opening up our building for the holiday prelude. Okay, that's already December 4th. What is that? Yep. Two to, f two to Sunday, four, two to four six? To six p.m. Four to six, okay. Four to six p.m. It's going to be fantastic. I cannot wait. Mm -hmm. So the top floor will be, I'm calling it a Christmas miracle. Okay. If you love Christmas, um, the Jerry T's band will be playing. Oh, nice. We'll have live music, some drinks. And, and that's all open to the public? All open to the public. Okay. The second floor, I'm calling it our cultural floor. Nice. We'll have a Kwanzaa demo and a Hanukkah demo. Oh. And then on the bottom floor and our ground floor will be um, just winter wonderland. That's so secular, the Girl Scouts who meet in our building oh. will be doing some crafts for the community. That's and excellent. The kids. Amazing. So we cannot we're wait. So excited. We're what so time excited. do you open the doors? At four? Or will you yeah. open earlier? We'll open at four. Okay. And, you know, if people want to linger beyond six, we'll see how it goes. But yeah. I think the other thing that's been really exciting for us at the CCA, we've had programming weekly. Mm -hmm. So we're doing our Cabaret Cafe, which is on our ground floor. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what's going on now. You're going to be having a mic speak. Yeah, yeah okay. we have open mic night every first and third. Okay. Um, Charlie Smith has been an amazing host mm -hmm. for those open mics, and we've had... I mean, last night we had a comedian, everything from comedy to poetry. Someone read a bit from their novel that they're writing. Are these complimentary? Sang, People can come in? Is, yeah, come in. You yeah. pay what you can. Right. So it, we want to keep it very open and inclusive mm -hmm. to the community. We have a cash bar available. And it's really, you know, we're creating art together. So um, yeah. there have been so many collaborations that have come out of that so far. Right. Um, we have trivia coming up on every second Thursday of the month. Okay. Next Thursday is Broadway. Oh. And, then and what's that? What are you going to do there? It'll be Broadway themed trivia. Oh, so really? Broadway, oh, okay. So Broadway. Do, yep. So that's yep, great. Yep, yep. That's a great idea. Yep. And then um, next month will be all holiday themed. Oh. And then Excellent. on the first, we have a special event, um, the first Thursday of December, 
will be a good grief event. Um, and Charlie will be just holding space for folks who uh -huh. sometimes the holidays are hard. Yeah, that's good. You know, we want to yeah. celebrate yeah. and have the happy stuff happen mm -hmm. on the 4th. But we also want to recognize that people who have lost loved yeah. ones might want a space to be able to talk about that okay. and to, you know, just come together and support one another. That's a unique idea. How did you come up with that idea, Lexi? That's Charlie's idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, in, you know, having a death in their family mm -hmm. around the holidays it gets really tough mm -hmm. and it does get tough yeah so um, they came to me and said I want to do something I said let's do it okay. let's do it so yep. that's that's been a big thing for us is mm -hmm. just getting behind folks who have a lot of vision and passion and and ideas oh we've had so many great yeah. um, folks ideas come through absolutely Wow so what else do we have coming up you have a, so much coming up anything in the new year have you booked you're booked out aren't you like you have so much on the books right now we but you're doing so different explain how you're doing different um, organizations, you're not just doing music, you're not just doing art, you're doing, like you just mentioned, all these other different things. Yeah, yeah. so we, Susan had the town commission a strategic plan in 2019, mm -hmm. which was fantastic. The, well, the, the hard thing is that it happened in 2019. Mm -hmm. So by the time all of the information from the community came in, the pandemic was just around the corner. Mm -hmm. So nothing was able to really be implemented. Mm -hmm. However, it's given me such an incredible roadmap. And folks have said we want more we want more things for families. Mm -hmm. We want more things for we want more theater. And so we've founded this Which I think is true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have such a talented community in mm -hmm. theater. Um, so we founded this community theater program called the Playground mm -hmm. and we're really looking to provide more theater programming. The Murder Mystery, for example, was put on by the Playground, and we were able to do all of that in-house. Mm -hmm. So it kept our costs much lower. Oh, yeah. It also allowed us to, you know, put something in the hands of local artists, um, you know, actors in the area mm -hmm. were able to, to receive compensation for their work. and. Mm -hmm. Which is fabulous. Yeah, it just we're we're trying to really build on that community and that ecosystem, mm -hmm. and allow different pathways for for people to to do what they do and to do it well. Now, do you have a mail out, or you can just go to the Chelmsford Center for the Arts org? Yes, our okay. website is being updated. Okay. So oh, definitely good. by the new year, yeah, we wanted a fresh facelift and just mm -hmm. a way to really reflect the new Thanks, programs. Pete. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we definitely want to. Um, you know, be able to, to showcase all of the newness that's that's mm -hmm. coming. We're focusing more on on our teenagers as well, nice. which is going to be awesome. So all of that will be reflected. I think that's in great that. too, because yeah. they've had a tough few years. Oh my gosh, during the pandemic. I cannot, so I cannot imagine what it's been like to be in school and to be navigating this really intense time mm -hmm. that we've all been through. And you have a lot of young. When I came to the open house, you have a lot of young volunteers from the school. Yes. So anybody can volunteer anybody of all ages. Anybody can volunteer. Yep, yep. We are happy to have volunteers. We had four student intern volunteers mm -hmm. this summer. Wow. They worked with us three days a week in August, every single you know week in August. Mm -hmm. um, and they really were the reason we were able to open our doors mm -hmm. in September. They helped us clean things out and get organized. Mm -hmm. I know they the helped. place looks beautiful. Thank you. Yes. And yeah. they helped us build our, our fall exhibit that was mm -hmm. showcased at our October 1st I love event. the leaves. That yeah. came out great. I think we had a picture, right, Pete? Did we show that picture? That was great. Everybody yeah. took pictures around that. Yes, there yes. were so many Including myself. Pictures. Oh, here we are. Right yeah. here, Lex. That's yeah. cute. Yeah. So these are all the people that showed up that day. Yes. Yep. We had lots of families, lots of little ones. Yeah, a lot of lo volunteers. A lot of volunteers. And Dana Dampsky, our technical director, actually built this out. Mm -hmm. And our interns supported him in that building. It was phenomenal. And in that building now, um, you have a gallery. Yep. Are you going to be doing any gallery shows coming Absolutely. up? Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. That so would be great. So the December 4th event will really kick off. Um, our next commission, you know, our, our next. Mm -hmm. So definitely stop through on that day to I come will. see us then. I will yeah. pop in. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's uh, we'll talk a little woman question. Who's a role model for a woman in your life? Ooh. Um, alive or deceased? Does it matter? Could be either. Either. Okay. Yes. Could be both. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say um, my mom, who yeah, is alive. I, that's and what I figured. Yes, very thriving and well. Mm -hmm. um, my mom is such an advocate and a champion. Yes, she is. She has always been very involved in the community. Mm -hmm. She's not originally from Chelmsford or from Massachusetts. She's from Cleveland, mm -hmm. um, but just learned the power of community very young and is always giving back. Yes, she is, and she's a always full, uh, full of fire. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, she always excited, fiercely creative. A lot she of my is. creativity, you know. Both of my parents are very creative, yeah. but you Your know, my father's mom. a nice man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you have just your sister, correct? Sister and a brother. A sister and a brother. Okay. Yep. And they in the yep. arts too? My sister's in the arts. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My brother is in sports. Oh. So in a different art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but that's okay. Yeah. yeah. And now, how about someone from deceased that is a role model for a woman? I love life? Maya Angelou. Yeah. I really, really do. I, she was a visionary. Yes, yes, very visionary. Very positive, very upbeat. Very positive. And, you know, reading her story, it's like she mm -hmm. she overcame. She was so resilient. Mm -hmm. She overcame she so much struggle. Yes, she, She's a dancer. That yes. was her first artistic mm -hmm. medium was dance. Yeah. And, you know, I just have always really admired. Yes, she is an amazing. Her peace, her calm, yeah. her ability to just... Mm -hmm. Create a loving, peaceful space. And I think we that's need that. That's how she was. She yes. was like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If you had a magic wand, what would you wish for for the young woman out there today in this type of environment, Lexi? Mm. I would wish for healing. Mm -hmm. I think that we, as women, have gone through so much. We, as a society, have gone through so much. Mm -hmm. But I think that the the brunt and the burden mm -hmm. of those challenges often falls on the shoulders and backs of women. Mm -hmm. um, and I just would love for us to have space mm -hmm. to, to heal because I think in our wholeness, mm -hmm. we can do anything. And how do, do you anything. find ways to heal? Do you feel like with other people, positive, uplifting people like yourself, uh, books? Like if someone needs to heal, where can they go, Lexi? Yeah, I, I think I think you've you've said a lot of mm -hmm. great ones. You know, first of all, I think that trauma happens in isolation, mm -hmm. but healing happens in community. Mm -hmm. So, you know, finding other folks who are also aspiring, who mm -hmm. are also trying to be their best selves, who mm -hmm. are also really pushing for something better, mm -hmm. you know, finding those folks. That's why I'm grateful to, to share space with you today. It's like finding those other women that are doing things, those other people in the community that, that lift you up, that make you feel really That lift good. you up. How important mm -hmm. is that? It's so important, isn't it's it? It's critical. That, it is that, critical. That empowerment. And it doesn't stop there, right? Like there mm -hmm. are systemic and structural things that have to be changed mm -hmm. to support that and to stop creating these mm -hmm. traumatic loops yeah. um, where we're having to, to heal in the first place. Right. But I do think that that, you know, us coming together, um, us connecting meaningfully, mm -hmm. and starting to work differently. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, how can I support Daisy's dream? Mm -hmm. What do you want to see happen? How do we throw all of our energy behind that, mm -hmm. knowing that you'll do the same for me? Mm -hmm. You know, how do we make those partnerships mm -hmm. and those alliances? How do we work together across lines of, of, of difference as well? Which is important, because a lot of people don't think the same way. Do you exactly. agree? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. And negative is not good. Yeah, we, no. we, we can't. Be negative. We can't we achieve what we want. Yeah, Negativity. in that space. And mm -hmm. it's hard, you know, it's, yeah, um, yeah it, it, it's really, really hard. Besides dance, do you exercise? Do you do anything else? Do you do anything else? I train, else? I train. Oh, oh, do I do, like, yeah. outside of dancing? Yes. Um, I do, do. I practice yoga. You do? I do, and that has helped me tremendously. So you have a great balance. Do you cook? I do. You do? I do love to cook. You yeah. do like to cook? Yeah, I do. How important is it a balance? A balance is important, isn't it, Lexi? It is. It is. And I'd be lying to you if I said I always achieve it. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think especially with, with the job just yeah. um, needing so much at the beginning of, like, we've got to get things moving and rolling, yeah. it's easy to forget about taking care of yourself. So true. And we can't do it, you know, alone. We've, we've got to really take care of ourselves so we can take care of each other. Well, we're wrapping up. I have to give you my traditional Godiva chocolate. Can you believe Aww. it for the diva you? You are amazing. You are amazing. Thank and you. And if anyone knows a diva like Lexi, don't forget her website, chelmsfordarts.org. Thank you for watching Daisy's Divas. I will see you soon. <music>